Welcome to Fallen Cycles. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this 2011 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide Ultra. This bike has 31,692 miles showing on the odometer. We're going to come in and take a look at the odometer, trip functions, and electrical indicator lights for this bike. As previously stated, the odometer on this unit shows 31,692 miles. Our trip functions for this unit, which are accessed by the button down below the speedometer on the left-hand side of the console. We have mileage, trip A mileage, trip B mileage, reserve fuel capacity mileage, and a clock. Our indicator lights are across the bottom below the two gauges. We have left turn indicator, high beam, neutral light indicator, oil pressure light indicator, and right turn indicator. We also have a bank of switches down here in the interfering cap. This first speaker button activates the auxiliary speakers in the back. We have a cruise switch, which allows you to work and operate your cruise switch. And then there's an accessory switch down here. We have backlighting on all our gauges, except for the fuel gauge. So air, volts, and oil all have backlights. This bike comes with a Rockford Fosgate Bluetooth enabled stereo. We'll go through the functionality real quick and I'll show you that the Bluetooth does work. So we have an FM unit built into the radio. Big knob in the center is volume, as well as the switch on the bottom of the left-hand side switch housings. Our source button allows us to change from FM to AM, and if you press the center button, it acts like an enter button. The volume knob is also the enter button. We also have USB, Auxiliary, Pandora, Sirius, F Sirius XM. Those would be dependent on if you have a subscription or not. We're gonna go to our Bluetooth mode here in a second. I'm gonna turn the Bluetooth module on my phone on. And hopefully, there's my phone. Now I'm gonna turn on my radio station here on my phone. And we should get some sound out of it shortly. And change the source. Ah, we got it in Bluetooth mode now. It says Bluetooth is connected. That's the radio station playing. We go back to FM. We'll turn that down and now we'll take a look at the lights on the front of the bike. Lights on the front of the bike are running lamp low beam, high beam. We have no left turn signal up front. We do have a right turn signal up front. And the four ways will also work even though one of the turn signals is missing. The unit has a working horn. <clears throat> now we'll step around to the back of the bike and take a look at the lights there. On the back of this unit, we've got the CVO complement of Torpac lights. We've got a fender mount running light, tail lamp slash brake light. We've got a hand front brake. We've got a foot rear brake. Got a left turn signal. A right turn signal. And four way flashers. <clears throat> the rear wheel on this unit spins freely. Although there is a rub, you can hear audible noise, which you'll also hear in the run video. We were unable to make that noise 
not happen in prep. functionality of the heated grips on this motorcycle so to turn the heated grips on and get them to produce heat you turn this wheel at the end of the left side grip the grips right now are reading 73 77 80 and you can feel heat coming out of both sides Our right side grip is about 98.7, 98.9. We're into the 99s. Um, the heated seat on this unit does not seem to be working. It's only slightly warm. I've got a temperature of... Well, I think I'm showing 90. We're showing 86, 88. I don't think it's very warm. It may be working, it may just be worn out. This unit also has a power lock mechanism. On the fairing switch cap, you'll see this lock unlock switch. You can hear the motors engage when I press the button, indicating the locks do work. 